Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Recently, I worked with a cooperating houses society on automation projects involving Google App Sheet, Sheets, and Google App Script. They brought to me a problem that focused on talking with your data. They had a bylaws PDF that contained all the rules and regulations of a cooperative housing society. Every time a resident wanted to search inside the document for a particular topic or maybe a doubt or something, they had to search through the entire document. To reduce the time spent on searching, I came up with a solution where you can actually talk to your data using Vertex AI's Agent Builder. In this video, we'll be building a chat app with Vertex AI Agent Builder that allows us to talk to our data. If you want the blog version of this video, you can find that link in the description. So let's get started. So uh, here I am in my um, console, my Google Cloud console, and I already have a project created. If it's your first time logging in, you'll have to go ahead, create a new project. And um, for this particular video, you'll have to have a billing account. So you'll have to connect your billing account so that the APIs can run, right? So uh, before we actually build the chat app, there are a few things that we have to do. That is enabling the API, getting the data ready, and then creating the chat app. So uh, first off, we have to go and enable the Dialogflow API. So there are two ways to do it. Either you can go up here and just search for the Dialogflow API like this, where it gives you the Dialogflow API here and the type API. So you can go and enable it here. Or the other way is going to your navigation menu and just going down to API and services and going to library. And you can do the same thing again. Just search for Dialogflow. And you'll get the same one that you had searched there. So these are two ways basically you can search for APIs. So just go ahead and click on enable and may, and you can check out the pricing and the documentation um, with regards to this API. So here you can see the API has been enabled successfully. So I'm going to go back here. And um, once we are done, we're going to be enabling the Vertex AI search and conversation API. But that's just going to be done by scrolling down here and going to agent builder. It's, um, since I have already created um, chat apps on my agent builder, it's not going to be asking for uh, my billing account right now. But if you're doing it for the first time, you'll have to uh, specify your billing account and activate the API. And on activating the API, this is what this is the screen that you will be seeing. So now that we have the APIs enabled that we uh, basically require to build the chat app, it's time to set up the data source that the chat app is going to be using. So that's going to be this particular PDF here that I have um, searched for from the internet. And um, I'll be leaving that link in the description. You can check that out. You can uh, maybe copy the PDF and work with this one. Yep. So uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, we have to upload this data on the Google Cloud Storage. So I'm going to go to my navigation menu. I'm going to scroll down to Cloud Storage and click on Buckets. If you want to know more about cloud storage and stuff, I'll be leaving a link in the description. You can check that out. So while we're here in my buckets, I'm going to be just closing this and I'll just click on create a new bucket. And once I do that, you just have to give a name to it. So I'm just going to say example data. And oh, there's already taken. So I'll just do, give it to example data one, two, three. And just go ahead and click on create here. Just click on confirm. You can see the pricing for your particular bucket. So while I'm here, what I'm going to be doing is I'll be uploading my data. It's as easy as just dragging it from your uh, desktop and just uploading it on the Google Cloud Storage. It's that simple to upload data on your Google Cloud Storage. And here you can see the PDF has successfully been uploaded to the Google Cloud Storage. So now that we have the data uploaded there, it's time to basically create a data store. So a data store is basically, it's going to be connecting to our data. I'll be leaving the data store documentation link in the description. You can check that out. So basically data stores are used by data store agents to find the answers for end user questions from your data. So it, it could be a collection of websites, documents, or your reference data. And this source could be anything. You could have it on the cloud storage, BigQuery, website URLs, and more. So once we do that, once we upload our data to the Google Cloud Storage, our next step is going to be going uh, to your Agent Builder. And once you are here in Agent Builder, just go ahead and click on Data Store. 
is we'll be creating a new data store right now. And you can click on create data store. And inside the, of this, I'm going to be selecting my Google Cloud Storage. Now you need to specify that. So I forgot to copy it. So I'm just going to click on buckets here. And in the example data, one, two, three, I'm just going to open that up and you can just copy the path from here. Make sure that your uh, Google Cloud Storage bucket and the project that you're working in where you're creating the data store should be under the same project. Like it's like, uh, it says Google Python here, it says Google Python here, so which means they're both part of the same projects. So I'm going to paste this here. I'm going to click on continue and just give it a data store name, say, um, society law PDF. Yep. And I'm going to click on create. And here you can see uh, we have created our uh, data store successfully. So now that we have the data ready, we have the APIs enabled, it's time to go ahead and create the chat app. So we'll just navigate to your apps here and I'm going to click on create new app. And here the select the type of app, it's going to be a chat app, right? And once you're here, you have to give the company name, you just have to give some regulations here. So I'm just going to say Mindstorm software, your agent name is going to be uh, law health. I think you can then select your location and stuff. And after this, I'm just going to go ahead and click on continue. And now it's time to select the data store that we just created here. That was the society law PDF. And I'm going to be going ahead and clicking on create. And within a few seconds, your chat app will be successfully created. Now, if I go back here, I'm going to go to my apps and I'm going to be clicking on the law help one. That is going to be a chat app that is powered through my data. And here you can see, congratulations, you've successfully created your first chat app using Vertex AI's agent builder. Just to, uh, just an important note, it could take up to four hours for your agent to access the newly added documents while they're indexed, but it usually gets done before that also. So to check that, you can go up here and look at the operations that are there and you can see the model training has been completed. So let's just give it a go and uh, we'll be now going ahead and testing our agent. So just like any other software, conversational agents need thorough testing. This helps identify bugs in their code, understand their current capabilities, and most importantly, simulate real interactions with users to refine the overall customer experience. So while you're in the agent builder to test the agent, you can just click on test agent here. And um, the questions that I'm going to be giving is, uh, I'm going to be asking it a very a few questions that's going to be with starting off with what is the sinking fund? Okay, so basically if the agent responds with generic phrases like I didn't understand, it could be because it's still processing and basically adding new information uh, because the indexing process takes up to four hours. So as we had discussed when we previously tried what is the sinking fund, it was unable to answer it. But now after waiting for, for a few minutes, um, if I give it the question, what is the sinking fund? the chat app is successfully able to answer the question. Let's give it another question where I'm going to be asking it to tell me. Th Let me give it another question where I'll be asking it to uh, give me the rules for subletting my flat. And here you can see successfully it creates another paragraph of answers that is exactly from the PDF that we had given it. So now that my chat app is ready and good to go, I plan to publish this. I want it to be embedded on my society website. So everybody in the society, whenever they feel, whenever they have a doubt or they have a question or they want to confirm a particular law, they can go on to the society website and they can find the bot there. So I'm going to be just giving a draft environment. I want it to be an authenticated API. I want it to be a pop out one. I don't want it to be a side panel because it's going to be obstructing the page and just click on enable the unauthenticated API. And once you're done, you get a piece of code that you can just copy. And I'll just show you how I'm going to be embedding this. This is my demo website. I'm just going to paste this here I'm going to click on save. And I'm going to be just clicking on go live. And here you can see the demo website comes up and I have my chat app here. 
So I'm going to be giving it one last question to see whether the chat app works on this website too. So I'm going to click on what are the service charges for the society and we'll click on enter. And here you can see it has successfully even generated an answer on my chat app when it is embedded inside of my website. So in this tutorial, we looked at how we can build a chat app using the Vertex AI's agent builder. We utilize Google Cloud Storage for the data storage, data stores for indexing and analyzing our data, and then implemented Dialogflow CX to configure the chat app. I'll be leaving all the references and different code labs that I used myself to learn how to build chat apps. I'll be leaving all of that in the description. You can check that out. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share, and for more content,